Dogs are known for their fascinating behaviors, but one behavior that often leaves us scratching our heads is their tendency to sniff each other's butts and even our butts. It's a quirky and amusing habit that has been the subject of countless jokes and memes over the years. But have you ever wondered why they do it? What's the science behind their unusual etiquette? In this video, we're going to uncover the secrets behind why dogs do this and the why it's actually really weird and gross. We'll explore the aspects of sniffing, the fascinating world of canine communication, and even dive into some other smelly habits our furry friends have. So buckle up and let's get ready to unreveal the mystery of why dogs sniff butts. Reason 1 the instinctual behavior of sniffing. Dogs have a highly developed sense of smell, far superior to our own. While humans have approximately 5 million scent receptors, dogs possess a staggering 200 to 300 million. This incredible ability allows them to detect and distinguish a vast array of scents with remarkable precision. Sniffing is a dog's primary way of gathering information about their environment and other animals. To engage in sniffing behaviors, they are usually reading the scent messages left behind by other dogs, animals, and even humans. It's like they're taking a sniffy snapchat of the world around them. Through sniffing, dogs can determine various aspects including the individual's identity, gender, reproductive status, emotional state, and even health conditions. They can pick up on pheromones, chemical signs that provide valuable information about potential mates, or social hierarchy within a group of dogs. Additionally, dogs use sniffing as a means of exploring and navigating their surroundings. Their keen sense of smell enables them to follow scent trails, locate objects, and even detect hidden or buried items. It's like they have a superpower that allows them to perceive the world through scent. So the next time you see your dog in a sniffing frenzy, remember that it's their natural instinct at work. Through their extraordinary sense of smell and their act of sniffing, dogs are decoding the world around them, one scent molecule at a time. Reason two, the communication aspect. Dogs rely heavily on scent as a form of communication. While humans primarily use verbal and non-verbal cues, dogs, well, obviously can't. And when dogs sniff each other's butts, it's not a strange behavior, but rather a crucial part of their social interaction. It's their way of greeting and exchanging information. Through the act of sniffing, Dogs can gather essential details about the other dog, such as their identity, sex, age, and even, again, reproductive status. This sniffing ritual is like dogs introducing themselves and getting to know each other in a way that's unique to their species. It's their version of saying hello and how you doing. While it may seem unusual to us, it's perfectly natural for them. Now, the anal glands in dogs play a significant role in the scent exchange during butt sniffing. These glands are located near the dog's rectum and produce a complex mixture of chemical scents. The specific combination of these scents is unique to each dog. It's like a personal fragrance. These anal glands contain important information that dogs can pick up through sniffing. It provides details about the dog's individual identity, including their health, diet, and emotional state. It's as if dogs are leaving their scented business card for others to read and understand. By deciphering the scent message from the anal glands, dogs can determine if the other dog is familiar, friendly, or potentially a rival. It helps establish social bonds, reinforce pack dynamics, and establish a pecking order within the group of dogs. Reason three, exploring other smelly behaviors. Now, sometimes you may notice your dog rolling around in the grass, dirt, or even poop. 
adults rolling in smelly substances like this actually serve multiple purposes in their world of sense. This, this behavior allows dogs to pick up new smells by rolling in something odorous. They can acquire different scents that may be of interest to them. It's like expanding their olfactory repertoire and adding a new fragrance to their library. Rolling in strong odors can also serve as a form of communication. When a dog rolls in something strong, they may be carrying that scent with them to share it with other dogs. It's their way of leaving a scent message for other canines to detect and interpret. It could convey information about their presence, territory, or even a potential food source. And in fact, our dog's fascination with smelly objects goes beyond rolling in them. Dogs are naturally attracted to certain odors due to their keen sense of smell. They have a curiosity about different scents and enjoy exploring the world through their noses. What may be unpleasant to us might be interesting to them. Smells play a very important role in our dog's life. While it may seem strange to us, it's an essential part of their overall well-being. Now, when it comes to dogs and human interaction, let's talk about our furry friend's fascination with human bathrooms. Have you ever noticed that your dog always wanted to join you in the restroom? It may seem odd, but there's some reasons behind this behavior. Human bathrooms are filled with interesting smells from our personal hygiene products to the natural scents we have. Dogs are naturally curious creatures and these scents intrigue them. We know by now dogs have an incredible sensitive sense of smell and they're drawn to unique odors found in human bathrooms as well. They can detect these different scents left behind by our hygiene products as well as the pheromones we release. You may have also noticed your dog sniffing your butt or crotch. While this behavior might make us feel uncomfortable, it serves as a purpose for our canine companions. When dogs sniff our crotches, they're gathering information and detecting these pheromones. And each person has a unique scent and dogs can learn a lot about us through these smells. But why is this growth? In today's day and age, cultural differences play a significant role in shaping our perception of what is acceptable or gross. In today's day and age, cultural differences play a significant role in shaping our perception of what is acceptable or gross. While dogs find butt sniffing as a normal part of their communication, humans tend to have different ideas. The concept of sniffing someone's butt as a form of greeting might seem strange or even uncomfortable to us simply because it deviates from our cultural norms. Personal hygiene concerns also contribute to the perception of grossness. We humans strongly emphasize cleanliness and maintaining a certain level of hygiene. Dogs, on the other hand, rely on their keen sense of smell to gather information and communicate. So when they engage in this behavior like sniffing butts or rolling in poop, it can clash with our preferences of cleanliness. But how did we get here? I like to call this the evolutionary perspective. Let's talk about how we got here to dogs sniffing each other's butts. It may seem strange to us, but there's actually a good reason for it based on how dogs evolved over time. A long time ago, when dogs lived in the wild, they had to rely on their sense of smell to survive. Sniffing each other's butts helped them learn important things about other dogs, like if they were healthy or ready to have babies. It was their way of communicating and gathering information, of course. Understanding this evolutionary perspective helps us to see that dogs have different ways of functioning in day-to-day -day life. Lastly, we must discuss the health considerations when it comes to dogs sniffing butts. From, from a health perspective, it's important to understand both the fun side and the health side of this behavior. You see, dogs have their own personal hygiene routines. They clean themselves by licking and sometimes they may get germs in their mouth from sniffing butts. It's important for dogs to stay healthy and not get sick. And that's why it's really important for dogs to visit the vet regularly. Vets can make sure that our dogs are staying healthy and give them medicine if they need it. 
Vets can make sure that our dogs are staying healthy and give them medicine if they need it. They can also check if there are any problems with their areas and keep them safe. These behaviors highlight the natural instincts and communication methods of dogs, showcasing their unique ways of interacting with the world through scent. With that being said, as a reminder, make sure to like this video and to subscribe to our Jaxtra channel right here. Thanks for joining us and we will see you in the next one.